It has dozens of dogs and cats available for adoption. Yeah, and Tim Treboy Bush is live this morning with more on some of the programs they have. And Tim, have you found a dog that you're going to take home? Chris, I, I will just tell you, it, it's a dichotomy that I feel. that I, It's both happiness and a little bit of sadness as, as well. But uh, life goes on here at the Humane Society of Indianapolis. And, and, and John, this is a situation where you're not only in pet marketing and sales, but also uh, in health care. Some of these animals have special needs, and I, I didn't realize that. Exactly. It is very much health care. It's almost like a hospital and a rooming house here. So we have a surgery center that takes care of the dogs and cats that come in injured. We have a great vet and medical staff that take care of the, the dogs and cats uh -huh. to make sure they're healthy okay. and uh, altered and so forth so that when the public comes, they have some really good animals that have been well cared for. Walk with me just a little bit because even though we've just highlighted a couple pets, uh, we had the little kitty in the, in the, in the right. first segment and we're going to look at Virginia here in the, in the next segment, it really is proof positive that when you rescue animals and, and people bring them in that they really don't have an expiration date on them. If they have special needs, you take care of that. We do indeed. In fact, uh, here's Virginia. Are you you're going to see in just a minute, and Virginia has been here uh, at our shelter for almost six months. And, and what is Virginia's uh, situation here? Virginia, Virginia came in as a heartworm positive dog, um, and so Virginia has been treated for heartworm um, thanks to a nice donor. Uh, Virginia is going to make a loving pet ready for somebody to, uh, to take home, so she is up for adoption. She's been a special need, and sometimes people will... Um, sometimes shy away because they simply don't know. Yeah. But something like heartworm can be very treated, uh, just like Piper in the first segment has, H, uh, has, has, has FIV that's very treatable right. and, and it makes for wonderful, loving, special pets. And, and John, to use bad grammar in, intentionally, uh, this ain't cheap. It isn't. Our, it, it costs us typically between 400 and 600 dollars an animal that comes in here. So the adoption fees are no higher than 150 dollars. In fact, beginning tomorrow, uh, July 1, our adult dogs and cats for one week can be adopted for $17.76. Okay. We want them in good homes. Now, now, John, in the little time we have left, for those who would like to uh, adopt Virginia here but, but can't, I mean, people are able to make financial donations to your uh, institution as well. Absolutely. People like uh, a nice Samaritan has given us money for uh, Virginia's heartworm. People can give us money to help with care, with support of the animals, or they can volunteer and help us as well. All right. Well, thank you so much. It's so thank good to talk to you as always here at the Humane Society. And Bruce and Chris, here's the good news. I mean, if you don't have room for a pet, and uh, that is some folks in our viewing audience, at least you can help them out financially. It's good to know that the pets, they, they don't have an expiration date. When they rescue them or when they're dropped off, uh, uh, they, they will uh, live out a good life and hopefully with someone like yourselves that would adopt them. Back to you. All right, Tim. Thanks a lot. Coming up next on Sunrise and Accident.